Assalamu alaikum students this is Farwa Batool your O level computer science instructor and welcome to another video In the previous video we have talked about validation and its types it was an overview Now in this video we will be talking about in detail uh, about the types of validation So the first type is rain check In this validation check we basically specify a range for a data field what it means it means that let's suppose i have a data field percentage in which a user has to write down percentage but here i have apply a range check that the data that is going to be entered in this percentage must be within the range of 0 to 100 It means that the user cannot add any negative value, minus two, minus three, or it cannot add any value that is greater than hundred. Let's suppose two zero three or five seventy one. No. Why? Because the range of this data field is zero to hundred. So, when the user is going to enter any value. that is not within the range then it will receive an error message that your value is beyond the range so this is how you are going to apply range checks in your data fields now let's quickly move towards our code so that i can explain you that how this is done by using a code programming code so i have copied here the code from your book Okay so here we go let me explain you this code in detail the first thing is a user looks an output message over here what is this message it says that please enter the student's mark so this means that the student sorry the user has to enter some marks now there is a repeat until loop a repeat until loop is to check for the range check it is to check for the input data that the user enters for student mark it will be checking again and again once the condition will be satisfied for this loop then it will go out of the loop what is that condition the student mark must be greater than and equals to 0 and the student mark must be less than and equals to 100 it means that both the condition needs to be true for a valid entry so we have to check for this condition again and again for every user's data entry so inside the loop what you have did you have taken the input from the user and then you will be checking that if the value the student mark value is less than 0 which says that if it is a negative value let's suppose the user enters minus 3 so in this case student mark is less than 0 it means that this condition is true so when the condition is true then it means that it is invalid data so in this case you have to print a message an error message what is that the student's mark should be in the range 0 to 100 you have to specify to the user that your marks are not within the range so you have to reenter or in the other condition it's specified that your value must also not be greater than 100 let's suppose in the other case the user enters greater than 100 value for a student mark 201 so in this case the second condition becomes true so when any of these conditions becomes true either the value is less than 0 or the value is greater than 100 in any of these conditions you have to go or you have to show the user a message that your entry is invalid and you have to reenter it is not within the specified range and if the conditions for the until loop are true both the conditions then it means that the data is valid because it is within the range of 0 to 100 so in this case you will go out of your 
loop and it specifies that the drain check is satisfied. So this is how you are going to uh, apply drain check on data fields and it can vary depends upon your requirement. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it is quite understandable for you. For any query, any questions, you can comment below and do not forget to subscribe the channel. Bye-bye.